Aloha, Shannon Eckhout back again. Murray, my trusty assistant, in his wonderful Maui shirt. See that? Maui. What is it? Oh, Kana Pali. Mahaina, Wailea, Uamau, Kea, O Kaina, Ikapono. You like that, right? It was a great place to visit. I thought it was appropriate to wear today, so. So, we're going to take the engine out. Yep. What are your tips for taking an engine out? Because this is a big chunk of metal, scary, uh, scary thought for a lot of people. You've obviously taken out lots of them. W what do you right. do when you think about this, and how do you prep for it? Well, just make sure you got ample room. Yep. Uh, make sure you got a good spot to put the engine. Right. A nice sturdy spot. Yep. And, uh, we had to, uh, we, thanks to Murray's thinking, you know, use the. Uh, top of my little toolbox to put the motor on. And you've got a special engine mount. Yeah, they usually, actually when you buy an engine, they usually come with. Right, but if, you, if you're buying a swap me bike or buying a bike, you wanna, go, you wanna order a uh, bike stand if you get a uh, you, motorcycle stand. Right, or you can go to the swap meet and pick one up. Right. If somebody that builds motorcycles, has bought a lot of motors, has a stack of those. Like right, I, yep. So there you go. So, so somewhere to put it. When you take it out, yeah. This one, this thing you're saying weighs over 200 pounds, and um, you want someone. To yeah, you put just it. yeah, you just don't want to like just put it throw on the your back out or what. Yeah. So you want to try and keep it at a level that you're you can work uh, at. You, yeah, you can work with because um, it is lifting a lot of weight, and if you've got an assistant, then it makes it even easier. At least he can laugh at you if something happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, so how are we gonna? How are we? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna approach it? Um, well, there's four main engine bolts that hold it to the frame, and then you have your top motor mount. Yep. So we're just gonna take those out, and uh, we'll make sure. See, the ignition coil is here, and there's some wires that maybe run from your ignition system on the bike. So you want to make sure that those are all disconnected before you. Okay, so I keep kicking this primary. I gotta move this primary. So let me find a safe spot for this. Safe right there. Alright, let's get to this. So let's start by taking off the top motor mount. Where's my power tools? Power tools again. It's got a 9 sixteenths deep socket. So you have three wires on the back side of this, which we don't need to cut. We're gonna take them off. So you probably wanna 
either mark them or remember where they go. Let's get some of this gasoline on here. Some of the residual gas out of the carburetor. Let's give this thing. The shine and shake. Just making sure all that fuel's out of there. I don't want to get it on my person. I smell like gas today. I kind of don't want to get it on myself any other day either. But here we go. So, as I said, let's take these out, and it is a 3 8 So red always goes in, technically in the middle, red always constitutes hot, normally. And right now it's constituting hot. Um, different